Sir Gregor takes part in the tournament to celebrate Eddard Stark's appointment as Hand of the King. He kills Sir Hugh of the Vale in a joust, horrifying the crowd. Littlefinger tells Sansa that Gregor burned his brother Sandor's face over a naked flame when they were boys because Sandor borrowed one of his toys without asking. He tells her that few people know the story and not to let Sandor know that she does. When Gregor faces Sir Loris Tyrell, he loses the joust. Loris chose to ride a mare in heat to distract Gregor's stallion. Flying into a rage, Gregor demands his sword, then ruthlessly decapitates his erstwhile mount before the entire horrified crowd. Ignoring his surroundings, he continues to knock the surprised Loris off his horse, and is on the verge of dishonorably killing him, when his brother Sandor intervenes, fighting him off to protect Loris. The two brothers violently trade swings with their swords, and Gregor only stops when King Robert himself shouts to stop the fight, at which the enraged Gregor stops and leaves. Catelyn takes Tyrion into custody, on suspicion of the attempted assassination of her son Bran. In response, Gregor is dispatched to raid the Riverlands, her homeland. Refugees from the Riverlands attend court in King's Landing and report that a huge knight who could take the head of a horse in one blow led the attack and had sacked the villages. Littlefinger asks, remind you of someone? Eddard sends Beric Dondarrion with a hundred men to bring Gregor to justice. Eddard declares him a false knight and strips him of all ranks and titles, lands and holdings, and sentences him to death. The ruling was made null by Eddard's arrest for treason and subsequent beheading. The host led by Beric clashes against Gregor at the Mummer's Ford. Gregor is victorious, and Beric is reported dead. However, when Robb Stark's victory against Jaime forces Tywin to withdraw his forces to Harrenhal, he orders Gregor to take 500 men and set the Riverlands on fire, from the God's Eye to the Red Fork.